Hi, I'm Celeste Desiam. Hi, I'm Mark Lawrence. Hi, I'm Pete Tong. Hi guys, it's Steve Angelo. Hi, I'm Jeremy Boone from uh, Zook Singapore. Hey, what's up? I'm Mim. I'm Liv. We're Nervo. We're here in Singapore for IMS. Hi, this is Damien Lazarus and I'm here at the IMS Asia Pacific and you are watching djsounds.com. <laughs> have landed in Singapore, a vibrant, colourful and a super dynamic city as well as being the international hub of Asia. And it's for these very reasons that the International Music Summit founders Pete Tong, Danny Whittle, Mark Neto, Simeon Friend and Ben Turner chose this dynamic and forward-thinking city to host the very first IMS Asia Pacific. The International Music Summit was born in Ibiza seven years ago. She has since taken up residency in LA with IMS Engage and now has launched upon yet another continent bringing for the first time ever a conference of its kind to Asia. This one-day event is full of panel discussions, keynote presentations, one-on-one -on -one interviews and technology displays from Pioneer DJ who are also celebrating their 20th anniversary in style right here at the W Hotel. There are pre and post IMS parties at Attica Nightclub and of course the IMS team have timed it perfectly, teaming up with Zook Out, the biggest outdoor festival of its kind in Asia. Danny Whittle, why Singapore? You know, we looked at other places. I mean, we initially thought of Australia, but then we just thought it would be too Australian-centric. Uh, we looked at Hong Kong, and we just thought it was kind of too much, too too busy. I, I don't, I, we just thought Singapore just looked fresh. And obviously, we have the Zook Festival, Zook Out Festival. And we've always sort of tagged IMS onto something where we know there's going to be a lot of industry people there, which helps with regards to putting panels together and so on. <laughs> Right now in the IMS Asia Pacific hot seat, we have Jeremy Boone. Jeremy, thank you for joining us today. Hi, good to see you. You as well, Jeremy being a, a Zook resident from, from, from day one, pretty much. Uh, Zook has always been like pushing dance music and you know, honestly we don't get much support from you know, people around the region or, or the other side of things, so... And having IMS coming in, right, you actually bring uh, the music industry people from around the world to, to congregate here and to see what the whole excitement has been for the past 23 years, which is a good thing. So, in a way, it's just, it give people an opportunity to see the possibility of uh, things that can happen in Singapore. It's, it's a great place for, for something to grow, especially musically. Yeah. Sat next to me now is the number one female DJ in Asia here from Bangkok at Celeste Siam. Celeste, welcome to IMS Asia Pacific and thanks for chatting to us here on DJ Sound. So I declare I'm very excited and be honored to join uh, IMS panels and pre party and after party. It's just uh, fantastic and exciting to see I IMS Ibiza come to Asia for the first time. <laughs> Uh, you played the pre-party uh, last night with Pete Tong at Attica and you're also playing the, uh, the after-party uh, with Paul Oakenfold. What, what, have you what did you enjoy about playing the, the party last night? Um, actually, it's my first time to play in Attica and I love the place. And we have two, two songs, like different kind of music people. There was Night Crowd and I was excited to play for Pito and Paul Cantor. I think it's one of the great party. So you had a fun night, yeah? 
Yeah, have a great night and yeah, my voice will be loud. That's mean we've been through a good party. <laughs> Why'd you bring Steve Angelo into the mix for, you know, a keynote one-on-one -on -one with you? I've been trying many years to get him in the room and he was meant to do LA this year and last minute it couldn't happen. And so he's been a massive supporter of the IMS from the, from the start. He knows all of the partners really well. Um, he's outspoken. He's, he's real independent he's a control freak and he's got a lot to say and he was in the region so it all lined up so that's why we wanted him to, I think he was a really compelling interview I've done a lot of interviews already over the years with the IMS but he, he, I thought that was one of the best I thought he was really good <laughs> you and he had some really funny and interesting things to say about music and medicine basically you know putting it right out there let's let's just you know call a spade a spade you know drugs is an issue you know that there's a massive part of the culture and yet um in, in this part of the world if the drugs don't kill you the, the, the authorities will <laughs> for taking them so how, how, how is that going to be a barrier to the development of, of, in this marketplace? Steve Angelo, welcome to IMS. Thank you. How are you feeling? I feel great. Why do you think that they've asked you to be a part of, of IMS here in, in Singapore? You know, we've been talking a little bit. They like that I have a different sense of what's going on as well. You know, um, a lot of people are artists, but I'm also a promoter and I'm an owner of a record label and I'm a and r and I'm doing management and everything else. So um, they can go pretty wide, which I think uh, they appreciate. Would you agree then that um, Singapore was the, the right choice to host the first IMS Asia Pacific event? Yeah, I think so. I think it's Singapore's a hub for a lot of things. You know, I think Singapore's a great city to do things in and uh, you know, the structural uh, work that they've done here with the whole city is amazing, you know, so I think it's, it was the right move. East versus West, why do you think that they invited you to be on that panel? Um, I guess that um, with my recent single, Lover's Eyes, they felt that there was a connection. Um, I've been playing in Asia, in some parts of Asia for some time, very regularly at Womb in Japan and various festivals and um, recently in India. Um, and um, and I'm, I'm just about to explore some new areas on this trip, so um, I guess they felt it was a good fit. Kuvo officially launched two months ago. Um, what has been the reception since then, since it launched at ADE? Look, from my perspective, it's been fantastic because there's a there's a kind of a connection, a deliberate connection, because AFEM endorsed Kuvo as technology to help our Get Played, Get Paid initiative. So that, that was, a, I think, a very sensible decision because working together with a big brand then you're able to create momentum and, and everybody got talking about it very quickly. So I think it benefited AFM, I think it benefited Kuvo. Here I am now with Lincoln Cheng who is the owner and founder of Zook and Zook Out Festival, and he was here today for a, a keynote interview with Paul Oakenfold. Lincoln, absolute pleasure to have you here with us on DJ Sounds. How are you? A pleasure to be here. It's the first time IMS come to Asia. It's great to be part of it. So when did they speak, when did the founders first approach you about uh, doing something here in Singapore? It was about six months ago. It was a pretty rush job, actually, to organize all this. Partly Zook is uh, always does the pioneering um, be it music or lifestyle. Uh, we have always been ahead of the tr leading the trend anyway. Um, and also the very important part of IMS is having Zook out right after it. I mean, Zook out is the main draw. Okay. 
Paul Oakenfold, your relationship with him, he was one of the first globe-trotting DJs of his of his generation, let's say, and he sp has spent a lot of time in Asia. So to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with him, did that did that feel quite right? Yeah, I think he's a pioneering, pioneering DJ that plays Asia, so he loves, instead of getting a bigger fee in, in developed cities, he'll come to China, he'll come to Vietnam, so experiment with these markets. You, ben. Great, very relieved. It's all over. <laughs> oh, Ben, it's been such a build-up, but wow, you you guys pulled it off again. Yeah, it was, this was I think our shortest um, attempt. It was two months we announced this event. We really saw an opportunity. We're very passionate about growing IMS and passionate about growing the industry, and um, saw a great opportunity here to um, bring together people from all the different countries. I'll be honest with you, with the other, with LA and Ibiza, we're sharing our knowledge. For people, this time I felt it was the other way around. Uh, we were, as we were curating it, I was having to do phone calls with people to learn about the region or talk to people and understand what they're doing, trying to work out who are the real players. Zook really helped us with some of that stuff. But, but everything today to me has been an education. Every panel I've wanted to grab minutes of, seconds of, because everything is just valuable stuff that we want to learn. So I actually felt like a delegate today, which was quite nice. So, yeah, I mean, just culturally, this place is beyond your imagination. It's um, I've only scratched the surface of here of Japan and Singapore and this, this day has just made me want to go out and explore all of those places and who knows what we'll do with IMS next in this region but I feel like we've had a, somebody just said to me this feels like year five of IMS somewhere so that's quite a, a nice thing to say about our first attempt at being in Asia. Thank you from Pioneer DJ, who's been another massive part of the summit and since it started. Hey, Deiki, um, it's quite noisy now, it's a party time, but I think Pioneer likes the party as well. Yeah, Pioneer DJ loves the party, it's always in the middle of the scene. Oh. Yeah, we're really happy to be um, at the uh, beginning of the um, you know, IMS in Asia and also um, be sp as a speaker inside. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about the panel today. It was get played, get paid. Yes, um, we originally planned for the um, Kuvo to be kind of discover the music and discover the tra um, DJ, discover the club. But when we um, we were talking with Ben and Richie, the Kuvo can contribute to another wo another way. So we started to talking with each other and how we can um, you know kind of cooperate with each other. And then we finally came up with some kind of great ideas. Um, so we having um, many um, inquiries regarding the Kuvo boxes. So all around the world we get um, people who wants to install the Kubo inside and also we currently have about 60, 160,000 DJs applied and also many um, you know, tracks being played inside Kubo so we're really happy with the result. And how many clubs is it installed in now? It's still it's 310 but it's increasing day by day. Yeah. We've got Mim. Girls, it's been a great day. It's great to have you here in Singapore as part of the very first Asia Pacific IMS. Hello. Hello. Hello, it's spreading. It's now in Asia. We've seen it in Singapore. We've seen the scene just explode yeah. in general. And it's amazing to see the turn up here. You know, tonight's party was crazy. The, the uh, seminars have been really well received. Loads of people, loads of questions. What do you feel that you guys brought to, to today's discussion? Well, you know, there are a few, there was Damon Lazarus and, and us, we were the artists on the panel and um, we just spoke about our experiences and our experiences have been that, you know, major Western uh, festivals, festivals like now, Ultra, yeah, have moved out to Asia. 
So um, it's just great to see it explode and... and um, it's a very uh, relevant place here. Like people want to grasp onto and, and like submerge themselves in all of this music.